Hi, this is Andy. I wanted to take just a second to kind of talk about what this device is that I'm holding here, um, what we use it for in cars, and the other reason why you find it on some vehicles and some other ones uh, that don't have it. So what this is is a heater control valve, and this is usually going to be located under the hood, and what it does is it allows antifreeze or hot coolant from the engine to flow from the water pump into the valve and then directly right back to the engine and it's going to do that when the air conditioning is on so we all know that the heater core inside has hot antifreeze flowing through it that's where we get our heat from but when we turn the air conditioning on a lot of manufacturers don't want that extra heat inside the passenger compartment so they're going to put in a heater control valve like this we're going to have that hot antifreeze flow in through this valve and right back out to the engine so that the heater core remains uh, at an ambient temperature or not superheated with the uh, coolant. Now when this valve is applied, if we're going to switch the AC controls to defrost or to heat or to floor or something like that, um, it's going to apply a vacuum to this small port right here and that's going to pull the diaphragm down which is then going to open this valve up and I can show you how that's done. Uh, if you ever need to test one of these, you're wondering if it's good or bad. I've got a little handheld vacuum pump here and all I'm going to do is just hook my vacuum pump up to the port and I'm going to slowly pull a vacuum with the handheld tool and we'll see if that diaphragm then moves. I don't think I have a good connection. There we go. So we're going to see that go ahead and move down and that means this valve is good. Now we're going to watch to see if it bleeds off and it uh, looks like this is holding well uh, as it should. This one's brand new. If you had one that was bad when you pulled vacuum you would slowly see that diaphragm release and the valve would close so that way we know hey you turn on your air conditioner and it's just not working very well but the pressures on the AC gauges are good you might have a heater control valve that uh, is stuck open or stuck closed. The other really common failure with these is leakage. So this is a very thin plastic housing and all of them are pretty much this way and they will crack over time. Uh, we know plastic ages at about the 10 year mark, these start getting really brittle and they'll crack. And then the most common is this seal behind this shaft right here where the valve is at. You can see the valve moving inside of there. Um, this seal will go bad and these things will leak coolant right out through here. Can be challenging to find because generally this coolant is going to leak out on the exhaust manifold, burn, and so you don't always see a lot of external leaks when this fails. So when this thing is engaged, uh, or disengaged, I'm sorry, when it's closed, it's going to flow coolant in here and out here right back to the engine. Now when we apply vacuum, meaning we've turned the heater on, now we're going to flow coolant in right here out to the heater core through the heater core back in through this pipe and then back to the engine so that's how the heater control valve controls coolant flow to the heater core